Questions before I leave face tight and move on to AccuTight. Okay, AccuTight, same background. Now, this is where it gets pretty cool. So, I don't want to put people in a box, but what I want to help you is set a foundation. So, when I'm thinking face tight, that is typically someone who would be interested in a facelift. Usually, I'm just setting up generalities. So, that's like the 50, 55, 60 person, maybe in between, doesn't really need a surgery. So AccuTite is like, where does AccuTite fit? What I typically find that I'm jumping, my, jumping towards with my AccuTite is not so much that crowd, it's my injectable crowd. Like the young folks that are starting early and they're in the injector's chair. I'm not saying that there's not 55s and 50 year olds in my injector's chair, but what I'm saying is typically for the AccuTite, this is much smaller, smaller treatment areas. It's much more dainty. It's the equivalent of a 22 gauge cannula. I'm using this for the 25, 28, 30, 40 year olds that are working with our injector and our med spot team frequently. So for me, if I'm doing a full neck, I'm just jumping straight to my face tight. Can you use your AccuTite? Absolutely. It's just gonna take you much longer and it's gonna be less efficient than a face tight. That covers much more service area, lays down more energy. So my AccuTite, in my hands anyways, is for like these one off little areas. I love it for an isolated jowl. Love, 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 love it for lateral brow lift. Talk about super sexy. Who doesn't want a little bit of lateral brow lift? Now friends, it's a lateral brow lift. What does that mean? The lateral brow, like the outside. If you treat all the way across the brow, it's not sexy. Because then they look like this. And they look inquisitive or surprised. How attractive is this if I'm looking at you like this? It's a little weird, right? If I'm just turning at you and we're sitting on a bus together and I'm like, mm. Okay, so lateral brow, not full brow. We're not trading the full brow. We want a lateral brow lift. What signifies the lateral brow? If you and me are looking at each other in primary gaze, that is when we are at the same eye level, you're looking at my nose. You draw a line, a mid-pupillary line, so a line directly in the middle of people, straight up. And then you draw a line to the tail of the brow, to the hairline. That is what you treat. Mid-pupillary line to tail of the brow. And if you couple it with Morpheus, even better. So I love my AccuType for little ditzel areas like that. And if you want an amazing and awesome treatment, so someone has a little bit of fullness underneath their chin, just a little bit of fullness, man, this blows that substance that you can inject in that space that's supposed to melt fat, supposed to be you know, minimally invasive, uh, no downtime, but the reality is, is that hurts like a son of a gun and they get a bullfrog neck for like three weeks and it's really, really expensive, our cost. I'm not gonna say names, I'm not up here to bash anyone, but I'm just saying that you fill in the, fill in the gaps. This blows that out of the water. So what I do is I go in, put three cc's of lidocaine, AccuTite the skin, do hand, just a little spot treatment of lipo. I'm not using my big setup, suction tube, there's none of that. It's a 10 cc syringe and a fat harvesting, tiny little 16 French, 18 gauge fat harvesting cannula through a tiny little poke hole. Little bit of lipo, it takes me five minutes. We charge 3,500 bucks and I can line up 10 of them and do 10 of them a day. I should probably charge more because the results are so good. I'll show you pictures at the very end of this segment of what that looks like. Okay, so this is our AccuTite, tiny little uh, hand size, 22 gauge cannula, but it, it, it wields the power of the big brother and the big sister just in a small package. There is what it looks like in an adult male's hand in terms of size. You can understand the application, nasal labial folds, lateral brow. Um, People go after the lower lids. I'm not a super huge fan of that. You can. I prefer my Morpheus. I showed you a bunch of pictures of Morpheus and lower lids. Uh, isolated jowl, submental plus lipo. Love, love, love it. Proposed areas of the face as per in mode, but of course you can use this anywhere that makes sense. This is uh, treatment of the lower lids. It's out there. You can absolutely do it if you desire. I wouldn't start here, friends. There's some high-priced real estate. If you're not an um, ocular surgeon, maybe we start with the Don't submental me, region. Okay. It makes a lot more sense to me at first till you understand the technology and how it works. That's just a lateral zygomatic stab with an 18 gauge, which is inconsequential. You can put an 18 gauge stab all over the face and not have any consequence. Uh, this is me doing my office manager's lower lids and fast time, just so you can see that we do them. Here's a lateral brow, which I love. There's my lines that I talked to you about. Isolated jowl. This patient actually came in for Botox. She voiced to Nurse Beth, she didn't like her jowls. We just laid her back right where she sat, infiltrated three cc's of lidocaine, 
Tiny little 18 gauge stab. Hit it with some Accutite. Today we're going to be doing an innovative Perfect for areas for this like this. Area, this is a perfect patient too. She had a little fullness she didn't like. She's probably being way over critical of herself, but hey, that's why we all have so jobs in this room. A little bit of fat and then uh, you can tighten that skin for her. This is the one exception. I'm not liposuction today. routinely. Thomas Face tight, old. yes. Skin Body tight, old. yes. Dowel to movements. liposuction, my tumescent and my emulsified fat. The, the, the uh, Accutite, there's just so little. You're not tumescing. It's just a very little volume. And you're not killing fat to the same degree as the face tight, so your body can easily resorb whatever's emulsified. So I don't routinely liposuction like I do on everything. I liposuction for contouring with the acutite like submental. Yes, sir. He asked, what are the temperature settings? Totally depends on what I'm treating, right? So, I mean, not the handpiece. It depends on the area that I'm treating. So it totally depends on the area. By and large, 68 internal. 38 external is a good start. But if you're going to do lids, this is super inappropriate. You don't start there. You want to go way, way down. Yep. If you have a male, thicker skin, go up from there. So that is a good starting point. And then um, alter based on what the patient gives you in terms of anatomy. Okay, here is an example of just because you could does not necessarily mean you should. This is a large armpit roll that is made larger with our tumescent. Um, and Spiro this here, the physician, he's our CMO, is treating this with the Accutite. You could do that. 18 hours later, after he's finally up to the temperature, I will have been gone long ago, sitting at home, because I'm going to use my body tight so I can get to temperature quickly. So just because you could does not mean you should, but it's an opportunity. I'm going to text the team. Andrew, are you guys in here yet? Let me text the team. Okay, lower lid, Accutite. I think I can easily do the same with my Morpheus. Lateral brow, hard to see, blonde. So let's take a look at this. What I can tell you is look at our supertarsal crease. Left is before, right is after, Accutite of the lateral brow. See the supertarsal crease, look how much more open her eyes live. Even though it's hard to see her blonde brow position, look at the supertarsal crease over here, friends. The difference between this and this. Okay, this is what we're going to talk about in terms of the submental area plus lipo. This is submental area, no lipo, but it's Morpheus. So just showing you some combo treatments. This is people on the stage right in front of you all. Okay, this patient got Accutite plus lipo, the submental region along her jaw, jaws, jowls, jawline. That came out a mess along her jawline for her jowls. That's what I meant to say. She got some lip filler, mid-face filler. We did fillers plus injectables at the same time. You can see the improvement. This is what she looked like on day one. Pretty reasonable for as beat up as we made her. That's day one. Look at the jawline there. Of course, it gets way better from here. Another patient, same story. This one was in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is day one, mineral, mineral foundation, getting ready to get on a plane. We can get ready for our demo, gentlemen, Juan. Uh, and I can show you a million pictures of Accutite plus a little hand spot treatment of lipo. Look at this. This is all at these shows. You guys get the point. Pretty powerful tool. Tolerated very, very well, and we're going to put that to the test today, friends.